What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are at the Jodrell Bank Visitor Centre, an astronomical observatory in Cheshire, UK. Home to the UK's biggest radio telescope and third biggest in the world, the Lovell Telescope. The Lovell Telescope was built back in 1957 and is now part of the Manchester University. It is still an active telescope to this day, picking up radio waves from outer space. Just reading a little bit outside and it was mentioning that the inside of this display is using original pieces from the actual satellite dish which we're going to go to later probably seeing it on the intro but this is all around the place all these original pieces when they did some renovations i think last time we came they were doing the renovations because the, the dish wasn't in use at all it was just sitting i think facing up they were painting it and they do lots of renovations all the time. It's always getting painted every few years, I believe. But these are actual pieces from the satellite dish. Come over the things and dance are from. Like Ross, you can understand, it's just natural decay and weather, but like they are a little dense, aren't they? Mm. I just want another go, don't you? Yeah, another go. <laughs> Let's go for it this time. Forty one ship saved. Well, well done. done. These original filing cabinets from the observatory we used to store scientific documents. Put on a disguise and become a Cold War era spy. How's that? Just gonna go have a look over here. These uh, UFOs and all the things that I can see around. How's that look? New hairstyle. Oh, I think you can crawl through there. Oh, you can go inside it. You can get inside there. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Hi, UFO. Hi, UFO. Can you hear me? Makes your hand look massive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sylvia's going to go to that dish over there. I'm going to go to this dish over here. And I don't know how the science works, but we'll be able to hear each other talking from so far away. So wait for Sylvia to get there. I can hear you. Say again. Oh, I, can, oh. I can hear the train, can you? Yeah. I can hear myself echoing. Mm. Say something loud. Make a clicking sound. Oh, that's weird. I can hear that like. I can kind of hear. I can, yeah, I can hear you doing it over there, reflecting off the dish, and then I can hear myself doing it. Look how far away she is, and you can hear. Yoo-hoo! What happens if I actually... How loud's that? Are you banging on the metal dish? No. 
or the, the, the ring. Hey Sylvia, turn round. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These things are so cool. Oh, look at the dish behind me, guys. So I don't think we're going to be lucky enough today. Are you coming back to me now? Are you staying there? Are you staying there? What? What? Yeah, I said that. Didn't say that last time. Why do people go past? Hello. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in the dish. Help me. Hi there. <laughs> Wave at me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be lucky to see it move today. Like guys, when I was a kid, I've seen this thing turn because it's facing right up now, but it will face any direction. Oops. That's strong enough. Let's try again. A bit harder this time. That was no good. We need to... Now, you need to try it. Start it from here. You can do it. That's like my first one. It's hard, isn't it? Mm. Now, shall we see who can get it inside the dish? Uh, no. Let's not play that game. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we have to turn this, make that spin to a ball. Mm. Okay, that's uh, nowhere near even making a sphere. <laughs> you can do it. Good work out for you. <laughs> you need to work off that cake and soup you just had. <laughs> Are you trying to call me something? No, I'm not trying to call you anything. Please, Jodrell Bank, please, if you see this, invite me, Explore Beyond, to come to Jodrell Bank on a day off and be able to go up onto the telescope, go to the top and then buildings. I would love it so, so much. Please, please, <laughs> wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. Amazing experience. Or even see work along the side of it. Yeah, end. I'll come for one day and work with the scientists and I'll do whatever you want. I'll even make coffee all day if you want me to do that. He makes nice coffee. All the way up to the top of there. Sit in there. Even have some control over that. It's not pointing right the way up, it is actually pointing slightly that way. And you hear it creaking in the wind. Please let me go. Please let me go up to it. Wow, oh, look at the middle part where it rotates. That is amazing. And last time we were here, you couldn't sort of, you couldn't really get this close. There was a lot of people here, but I always thought it was on tires. I mean, I know it was on, on tracks as well, but I thought it had tires also. There are brakes there, look. See the little wheel there. The way it like the train um, brakes. Can I have some berries? You want some? Nah. Look a bit shriveled. They're not berries, are they? No, they're just the uh, leaves. Like play buds kind of thing. They're going to open up. So we've just been told by a member of staff that last night um, they said that something came crashing down from the sky. Apparently, the telescope actually tracked it coming from like. I think she said like 10,000 miles away. I can't remember. It's like 10,000 miles away. This thing was like glowing like a big massive sphere, like a meteorite coming straight down to Earth. They haven't been able to locate it yet. So I said, well, I'm pretty good at navigating. So let's, me and Sylvia have been given this access into this woodland to try and find where this meteorite crashed. And we're going to go look for it. But she told us to be very, very careful just in case there's any UFOs come out of it. 
She said there's a 50-50% chance that it could very well have been a UFO crash landing on Earth. So take extra precautions when you're there. Nobody else is allowed in these woodlands right now. Nobody else should be here. So if we see anybody, we can only assume that they're either a trespasser or a shape-shifting UFO. We are like the men in black, Sylvia. Oh my God, cabin in the woods. So this, this device detects radio waves when they're getting a lot higher in the area. So we need to be really, really careful right now. I think we're getting close. I think we found it. Let's go. Is it smoking? Look at the size of this metal. Jesus Christ, it's thick. Oh my God. What have we found here? Well, it's not a UFO because there's a sign here saying meteorite. Is that a coincidence? At least we can safely say that it wasn't a UFO. Oh, because it's a very large meteorite. Made out of solid concrete by the looks of it. Anybody in there? Oh my God, it's just not back. Someone's in there, Sylvia. Someone just knocked back. Listen, anybody in there? <gasps> and again. I don't think I'm lost. We've been walking for like two hours, guys. We can't find a way out. We're just walking down these long paths. We haven't seen anybody for about two and a half hours now. We found the meteorite. Something, something weird about that meteorite has affected the area because now we're lost completely. If you ever see this video, thank God, because that means I made it out. Oh my God. So that's going to be the end of this video guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Once again, thank you for watching, this has been Jodrell Bank and I'll see you in the next video.